Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dears. Let's discuss semantic rules or rule relations of lexical items. It may not be enough to limit our knowledge of words uh, to their basic characteristics and it may not be enough to know that we have only parts of speech in structural grammar. It is necessary to examine the function of lexical items in a systematic way or in a semantic way. This can be achieved by focusing on the rules, relations of lexical items or it can be also achieved by focusing on semantic rules, a word or a phrase function in a sentence. Rule relations provide information on semantic relationship among lexical items. In doing so, the rule relationship help to highlight functions of lexical items and we come to know what semantic function is performed by which lexical item in a sentence. The functions of lexical items are referred to as arguments, are semantic rules. These semantic rules are arguments are first agent, then instrument, then experiencer, source, goal, path, location, possessor, patient or theme. Let's discuss agent. What is agent? Any noun or noun phrase that is described is argument in relation to the verb in a sentence and that performs an action in a sentence is called agent. In simple words, agent is an animate noun, a living noun or noun phrase that perform an action. For example, for example, John boiled eggs. John is agent. For example, Ahmed writes a letter. Ahmed is agent because he is performing an action. Now, now what is experiencer? Sometimes a noun is used as subject in a sentence but it does not perform any action. So it is not an agent. In this case it either becomes a force or experiencer. For example, if I say John feels happy or John became happy. In this sentence, John is not performing any action, although it is the subject of a sentence. So it is not an agent. In this case, John is experiencing something, happiness. So John is experiencer. In another example, if we say that radiation caused damage. Now, radiation is the subject, but it is not living thing. It is uh, performing an action. But it is not living thing. In this case, it is a force, neither an agent nor an experiencer. Agent, force and experiencer. We have discussed these three. These are used as subject. Now, theme or patient. When a word or lexical item is used as object and it receives the action of the agent or force, it is known as patient or theme. For example, John boiled eggs. Eggs are patient. The next one is instrument. Instrument is the semantic role of what is used to carry out a piece of action. I perform an action but how did with which thing I performed that action? That very thing is instrument. For example, she cleaned the chair with a brush. Now a brush with a brush. A brush is instrument. What is source? Source indicates the origin or direction from which something is taken or from which something comes. The source is usually a location. The teacher took out the duster from the cupboard. Now, cupboard is the source because from that place the teacher has taken out the duster. We can, however, refer to the place is an entity situated. For example, the cupboard. The cupboard, it is another semantic role. It is called location. Location is a place where something is placed. Then we have semantic role, goal. Goal shows the direction towards which an entity goes or toward, towards an entity is taken. For example, the mango rolled into a basket. Now, basket is the goal. We also have the possessor or the beneficiary describing the entity benefiting from an action.
the beneficiary is always in any note. These are different semantic roles performed by different lexical items. Thank you so much.